Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Hoag's English class. As you know, today uh, we're going to start talking about the book 1984. Um, we're going to start reading that soon, so this is kind of a little um, anticipation guide to get into the book and the themes and the setting. So let's start off with a quote um, from the book by George Orwell. He says, Power is in tearing human minds to pieces and putting them together again in new shapes of your own choosing. So that begs the question, why do we believe what we believe? What is causing us to believe what we believe? Is it our parents? Is it our friends? Is it our teachers? Is it the media? Or is it the government? Really, what is causing us to believe things like proper nutrition? Maybe the best sports teams in the nation. Or what are the right politics to believe, the best music to listen to. Um, and even the age-old question of what is better on sandwiches, mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. Bottom line, the beliefs and opinions that we have growing up are highly influenced by the people that surround us. And mostly as we're children growing up into adulthood, that is our parents. It isn't until kids leave their parents' household and go off to college till they can finally start developing their own opinions. They can finally decide, do I like mayonnaise or do I like Miracle Whip? Are the Seahawks really my favorite football team or am I more of a Steelers fan? Am I really a Republican because my parents believe that stuff or am I more of a Democrat? They finally get the chance to decide um, on their own opinions uh, without the influence of their parents and the people they grew up with because now they are on their own. Now, these examples of brainwashing as we're kids into what football teams we like or what type of sandwich um, dressings we like seems almost silly when thought about as brainwashing, even though it is heavily influenced by our parents. Now, just imagine if we didn't ever have the opportunity to form our own opinions. Imagine if someone like the government told you what you had to believe, and if you did not believe that, then you would be punished. You had zero freedom of thought, even if you did not agree with what the government said you had to agree with. And imagine if it wasn't just actually having those opinions. Imagine if you were watched so closely, so constantly by the government, that if you even had one thought of ever having your own opinion or believing something other than the government believes, you would be punished. You'd be punished for your thoughts of even thinking about rebelling against what the government said you had to believe. This bleak, opinionless world is the setting of 1984, the book we're about to read. It's a book that shows government control to the extreme, to the point to where people cannot think. People have no option, no ability to have their own opinion. Their opinions are constantly enforced and influenced by the government. In this world of 1984, people don't have the right to freely think, to freely speak, or to freely form their own opinions. Rights that we take for granted every single day. All right, so thinking about your opinions and who influenced your opinions, your discussion question for tomorrow in class is this. Who has had the biggest influence on your beliefs? You, your parents, your culture, or someone or something else? Explain your reasoning. Be prepared to share that tomorrow in class. All right, that is your homework tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a great night, and I'll see you in class bright and early tomorrow morning. See ya.